nothing like a nice hot cup of tea. Well, you've got me. There's nothing in there. But this helps me explain what a Blackwater River is. It's very similar to a cup of tea. We are on the south fork of the Edisto River, one of the longest free-flowing Blackwater Rivers in the country. Notice that the water here is a dark brown color, like tea, but not muddy. You can still see through the water, hence the name Blackwater. The waters are darkened by tannins. As the Edisto flows through forested floodplains, trees drop leaves and debris which then decay. As this organic matter decays, it releases tannins into the river water. Tannins darken the water, just like tea steeping in a mug. Tannins are a chemical substance found in many parts of many plants. You may have experienced tannins when eating an unripe apple. They cause a dry, astringent feeling in the mouth. It's unpleasant, but the tannins protect unripe fruit and young budding plants from being eaten before they've had a chance to mature. In the right proportion, though, we humans do enjoy the experience. Coffee and tea both contain tannins, which give them their wonderful, bitter astringency. Wine making is all about getting the tannin content correct. In fact, if you do a quick internet search for tannins, all your top search results are going to be websites for winemakers. We find tannins in the wood, leaves, and fruit of trees. We enjoy them in our coffee, tea, and wine, and we watch them as they darken the waters of the South Edisto, a Blackwater River moving slowly on its way to the Atlantic Ocean full of tannins.